Hey guys, thank you so much for dropping by my channel. It's Vesna here and welcome. So for today's video, I am doing an IKEA hack with the Billy bookcases. So stay tuned to see what I've done with them. So for this project, I only actually had to purchase one Billy bookcase because I had one on hand and one I had picked up off of Facebook Marketplace for $15, which was great. So only one of them was original cost. And I only purchased this one at the original price because I wanted the door and I was worried that if I bought too old of a model that the door might not fit when I ordered it from Ikea. Now, if you can find it already with a glass door on Facebook Marketplace or wherever, Craigslist, wherever, awesome. If not, that's an option. You can always buy the other ones and then just buy this one, the one that you want with a glass door, if you want a glass door new. So what I'm doing, I'm applying a primer. Now I had purchased a primer that I, I watched several different videos on which, how to paint Ikea furniture because I haven't had a lot of luck with it. So I bought the Bin Zinser shellac primer from Home Depot because I read several blogs and several and watched several videos where they had recommended that that was the best one to use. And I applied the primer first and then I after the primer I applied the paint. Now going back if I were to do this again because the paint was kind of peeling off a little bit so to me it means that it didn't stick properly i would definitely take the time and do a pretty good job buffing up the piece i did a little bit but not too too much because like i said i read several places that this would be fine and then i would use chalk paint over top i used a ch cheap glidden home depot paint it was the cheapest one they had on hand and it was the arctic blue sky and beautiful color paint, but I think that if I had used the chalk paint, I would maybe not have the issue of it kind of coming off, but live and learn. So kind of those are the things that I would go back and redo. And I would apply this primer. I did a pretty good job on this, this cabinet. The other two, I didn't cover it as much. And maybe that's why the paint was peeling. So I would do maybe two coats of the primer and really just apply it really well. So that way you have you have really good coverage. I originally used just a brush to apply it and then I switched to using a roller just because it worked a little bit better. It's whatever you prefer. And as you can see, I'm wearing quite thick clothing because I actually started this project back in April as soon as the weather got a little bit warm outside. And then because I had broken my arm, I couldn't finish and I just kind of left it for a long time and then I finished it off just recently and but yeah so it is quite an involved project meaning that you have to do the primer let it dry then do another coat of the primer and then probably do two coats of the paint I had them tint the primer that's why it's blue because I wanted it to be as close to the color as it could be but like I said it I actually wanted them to tint it gray but they they said they don't didn't know how to do that I don't know why but they said they didn't know how to do it. So they tinted it blue. And I wanted them to tint it gray because of what I'm going to do with the shelves. So as I said, the roller worked a lot better for applying the paint. So I think that is the way to go and then just kind of fill it in with the brushes where you need to fill it in, but do whatever's easiest for you. I did do two coats of the blue paint just so that it would have a really nice coverage. The door I just covered with painter's tape so that I wouldn't get the paint on the glass. Now I'll talk about this a little bit later because I did have to kind of do a little bit of a trick with that too. So here's kind of what it looks like 
with a brush applied and you saw what it looked like with a roller and I just kind of wanted you to see both so that way you could kind of determine for yourself how you want it to go. But either way, like I said, it'll it's just whatever you prefer. So once I painted all three cabinets and I used the wider two Billy bookcases and then the narrower one, I just didn't film myself painting all of these just because I didn't think you really needed to watch me paint. I just kind of did an up and down motion and I wasn't too worried about brush strokes because I was applying some wax at the end. So at the end, I applied the black wax and the black wax just gives the piece just that rich, darker blue color. And I love this Annie Sloan black wax. It just does such a great job with, it doesn't distress it so much as it just gives it a different color. And whenever you apply the wax, if you've watched my other tutorials, you just kind of have to go side to side to side with a brush and then you wipe it off with a rag. Now, when you are doing the side to side motions, you could do everything with a rag. I prefer using a brush. Now for the shelves, I wanted this to look a little bit different. So what I was kind of going for is for it to look like, look like wood. So I originally thought I could use the glaze, the Rust-Oleum decorative glaze, you've seen me use this before, over top of the primed shelves, but it was just, it wasn't working, it wasn't sticking. So I went to my Annie Sloan chalk paint and I used the cocoa and I painted over top of it with the cocoa and then I actually wound up using a gel stain to make that wood grain look and I'll show you kind of what I did there. But the reason I went with the cocoa is because I wanted to have that contrast a little bit lighter at the bottom, like a lighter brown with a darker brown at the top. It depends on whatever look you're going for. I found that this is kind of the look that I like the best. The reason I had mentioned that you should use chalk paint for, if, you, if I were to do this again, I would use the primer with the chalk paint over top, is just if you look at how beautifully it covered it and it didn't come off or anything like that, I just think the chalk paint would do a better job of covering than the other paint did. So to achieve the wood grain look, what I'm doing, again, I'm using the gel stain from Minwax. Originally, I was going to use my Rust-Oleum glaze, decorative glaze, but it didn't work the way I wanted it to work. So I'm using this gel stain and I'm reapplying it to this board because my son had stepped on it. So I had to reapply it, but I realized that I would have to repaint it just when I was putting the gel stain on. It wasn't applying properly. So I'll show you on a fresh board what I did. So you just want to use a foam brush and use your wood grain tool. Now this one that I have came with several attachments. So I'm just using one of the attachments 
that I thought would look best on this one. You can use whichever one you want. And I just like to rock this back and forth. And then it's kind of like a trial and error, depending on what you want it to look like. So at least with me, I kind of did a little bit and then I went back and I redid it. And then I went over top and just kind of did it until I got the look that I was going for. Some people say that you only have to rock it once. I like to rock it a few times because I feel like it gives it kind of the illusion of naughty wood. And try not to do it in the same spot, like whenever you rock, just because then it'll look like it's one, like it's one beside the other and that's not what you want. You want it to kind of look all scattered. And you, you basically do it however is appealing to your eye and to your tastes. Now, the middle shelves of these boards were attached already and I didn't want to take them off. So those ones I painted in a mixture of brown, espresso brown and black acrylic paints and then I painted them but I'll show you what that looks like. Just wanted to give you a close-up of what the wood grain kind of looks like so you get an idea and then what the painted shelf looks like and I did go over all of this with some clear wax from Annie Sloan. So there's a kit that you can buy at Ikea for the corner cabinet so it's right there and then you kind of put them here and you slide them on and just at the top there as you can see I didn't paint that as you can see I didn't paint the top of the cabinet but at the top there are your anchors so that the cabinets don't topple over and here's the corner where all of this will be going I used to have just like a little table there and I bought the corner hardware kit and I had my husband had installed it making sure that he anchored everything so this corner is actually at the top of my staircase and it's just a perfect little corner for some books and for some travel stuff. Actually my sister has a corner at the top of her staircase, it's actually not a corner, just like a little nook. And she's got a shelf with all of her Disney stuff and I thought that was a really neat idea. So I kind of copied what she had and then included that to be kind of all of our travels and just pictures of family. And there you have it i love the way it looks so as you can see i'm still missing some pictures in there it still needs to be filled up but it's getting there a lot of the stuff i've packed away kind of waiting to finish this so once i get the stuff out i will slowly refill it back in but this is kind of like our little travel memorabilia some disney stuff some home decor stuff, kids' pictures, grandparents that have passed away or that don't live here, and some travel books and whatnot, and some of my DIYs that I've made. But as you can see, like I really like the way it looks in this corner. Thank you so much for stopping by and for watching. I hope you enjoyed this hack or this makeover of simple IKEA shelves that you can pick up all the time on Marketplace or brand new for really cheap and make them to look really high end. So thank you so much again for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. Give me a big thumbs up if you liked it. Leave me a comment below letting me know what you think and whether you enjoy painting IKEA furniture. And make sure you come back on next week on Sunday because I'm going to have another fall DIY video. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day and subscribe if you haven't subscribed.